Hello and welcome to Crooked House Gaming. Here at Crooked House Gaming, we like to explore the gameplay of simulation games, usually through a series of Let's Plays. In this episode, we will continue to explore the gameplay of Democracy 4. Democracy 4 is a political sim that lets you choose the role of a world leader and govern a country. If this sounds like something you're interested in, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here, welcome! And be sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any future episodes. We are going to be starting a new gameplay with our country being Italy. Italy! is a parliamentary republic with a multi-party system. Italy became a democracy in 1946 when the monarchy was abolished by popular referendum. Italy operates as a mixed system with 37% of the seats allocated using a first-past-the-post electoral system and 61% using a proportional method with one round of voting as recently as 2019 due to frequent failures of the coalitions. Italy was considered a flawed democracy. The population of Italy is 60,461,826 people at mid-2020, according to UN data. The size 301,340 kilometers. Religion, 69% are Catholic, Eastern Orthodox, 4%, Atheism and Agnostic, 14%. Exports, machineries including computers, vehicles and parts, pharmaceuticals, electrical machines, Machinery, plastics, gems, and precious metals, articles of iron or steel, world leader, heritage, culture, history, and food, most UNESCO sites, the world's largest wine producer, first country with compulsory climate change lessons for children, member of the European Union, United Nations, NATO, and OECD. Let us begin our gameplay. Let's see what party the game chooses for us. Defenders of the faith, our opposition party is the new right and the other opposition party is stop the patriarchy party we have compulsory voting let's begin our gameplay congratulations on your election victory welcome to your new job as president the lives of all 60 million 462 thousand citizens are now in your hands as you will imagine there are a number of situations and concerns that you will need to deal with as soon as possible while keeping an eye on long-term improvement of our citizens quality of life. Plus, do not forget that you face re-election in five years, so you will need to monitor the opinion polls and our party membership. Good luck. At the recent election, your party won a majority of 10%. This will give you some political power to implement your policies. Let's begin our term in office. We have 14 political capital to spend. Let's see the problems that we have. Well, we are part of the European Union. You membership as one of the wealthier and more economically stable nations in the EU. You pay a net contribution to the EU government to help support the European economy. We have pollution. We have a bureaucracy. We have a media monopoly. We have an uncompetitive economy. We have environmental protests. We have tax evasion. We have respiratory disease. We have organized crime. A state broadcaster, a state-owned broadcaster can provide impartial and independent news without influence from corporate advertising. This can serve as a defense against bias or fake news, but a compulsory TV tax is not popular with everybody. The popularity with the voters is 49%. We do have a media monopoly. Let us invest two political capital to increase this. Let us apply the changes. We have 12 political capital to spend. Now, we are what? Defenders of the faith? Let's see what the religious want. The religious, religious opinions and strength of feeling obviously varies greatly, but in general, religious voters hold a positive opinion of faith schools and religious education and will support laws that that keep holy days sacred or protect the church from blasphemy. As a rule, religious voters have a negative view of abortion and stem cell research. Generally, religious views are more popular in less developed countries. The percent of our population that is religious is 52.85%. We are the defenders of the faith, so we are going to look at our stem cell research. Stem cell research! Stem cell is a primitive type of cell that can be developed into most types of cells found in the human body. Some scientists claim that stem cell research offers great hope for curing diseases such as diabetes and multiple sclerosis. However, because stem cells are taken from discarded human embryos, many pro-life and religious groups oppose their usage. This is 0% popular with the vote. We're going to spend three political capital to lower this. We will apply the changes. We have nine political capital to spend. Let's see what else the religious people want. Religious tax, effectively an income tax or tithe that hands a percentage of people's earnings directly to religious institutions for use as they see 
see fit. Hopefully this funnels money into good causes in the same way as charities do. But, but there is ample room for corruption as unlike the state, religious leaders are not elected by those paying this tax. This is 16% popular with the vote. We will invest three political capital to increase this. We have six political capital to spend. Let's see what else the religious want. Organ donation. Organ donation. There are a few people who would disagree that organ transplant is amazing a technology, but it requires a plentiful supply of donors. Sadly, many people do not give the topic consideration. Some suggest that an opt-out policy is best with consent for donation assumed unless otherwise stated. Others suggest that this is no place for the state to interfere and explicit permission should be requested. This is 0% popular with the vote. Right now, we have presumed consent. The religious people are unhappy with this. I'm going to spend two political capital to lower this to. If approved by next of kin, we will apply the changes. We have four political capital to spend. Let's see what else the religious want. Let's just go down the list. Married tax allowance. Married tax allowance. This is a tax break for married couples given as an encouragement for people to marry and also to stick together. Church groups see this as essential that the state encourages traditional family values. Some see it as religion meddling in the tax system for no good reason, but this is 100% popular with the vote. Right now, our ta married tax allowance is small. We are going to spend four political capital to make it advantageous. We will apply the changes. We have zero political capital to spend, and thus we are at the end of our first term of our first year as president of Italy. Let's hit that button. We will now be entering our second term of our first year as president of Italy. Let's see how we did. The GDP is the climate change protocol. There is an urgent policy question that requires your immediate attention. The United Nations Climate Change Conference signed a new protocol to limit the emissions of greenhouse gases in industrialized countries. Your country participated in the talks and drove a hard bargain in order not to put too much strain on the economy. Still ratifying the protocol can be costly, limiting GDP growth and worker productivity. On the other hand, experts claim that this is the only way to save the environment. Do we ratify the protocol? Ratify the protocol. Reducing greenhouse gas emission is necessary step to make sure that our children will be born on a habitable planet. A small hit to the economy is well worth this goal. Do not ratify. With our economy at stake, we cannot ratify a proposal that prevents growth, productivity, and wealth. Other means of protecting the environment have to suffice for now. We will ratify the protocol as we do teach climate change in our school. The capitalists are unhappy at negative 18%. CO2 emissions go down at negative 10% and the environmentalists are happy at plus 7%. 17%. Situation imminent. Our data is showing we have a potentially bad situation. Doctors strike on our hands if we do not act soon. Budget report. Our credit rating is worryingly just a triple B. We need to fix this either through growing our GDP, cutting expenditure, or increasing taxation. Polls do not look good. Our last poll put us at 12% of a vote in an election. Economic forecast. Good news. The global economy is doing well and this is having a positive effect on our GDP. Capital report. The loyalty of your ministers can best be described as loyal. Well, they're effective. This is generally considered to be possible. We have 14 political capital to spend. And we have a doctor strike we have to worry about. Private healthcare, the size of private healthcare sector. This will arise naturally from supply and demand and can be boosted in boom times, but can be reduced by providing a decent state healthcare system instead. The downside with private healthcare is that the poorest in society cannot afford it and may also avoid treatment until it becomes essential in order to save costs. We have state health service, but with state health service, we are dealing with the possibility of a doctor's strike. Labor laws. Labor laws are basically the restriction on the workers' right to strike. Capitalists argue that such restrictions are vital to prevent key workers such as power station workers, policemen, and train drivers from holding the country to ransom. Trade unionists consider the right to strike to be fundamental and not open to negotiation. This is 55% popular with the vote. We're going to spend six political capital to lower this. We will apply the changes. We have eight political capital to spend. Well, let's go back to looking at what the religious want. Legalized sex work. Legalized sex work. Conservatives claim that the legalization of prostitution would mark a severe decline in family values. Other claim that as prostitution is unlikely to disappear, even if illegal, it's better for society and sex workers that the practice is regulated and monitored rather than criminalized. This is 31% popular with the vote. We are going to be spending three political capital to lower this. We will apply the changes. We have five political capital to spend. Let's see what else the religious...
religious want, the religious want, gender transition, gender transition. Some religious groups and conservative sections of society argue that there are only two genders and that changing gender should not be allowed. Others argue that gender has always been fluid and nobody should enforce their gender views on others. Ultimately, the state has to take a stance to the extent in which gender transition is officially accepted or rejected. This is 71% popular with the vote, but we are defenders of the faith and the religious do not like this. So we are trying to keep our voters happy. Right now we have doctor's agreement. We are going to spend three political capital to lower this and make the doctor's agreement put an age limit. We will apply the changes. We have two political capital to spend. Organized crime, large organized gangs of serious criminals are now targeting our country. We do not have the resources to deal with them and they are causing serious problems including higher levels of creek crime and violent crime as well as supplying drugs and guns. Here in Italy we have the Mafia. Security services are an essential tool in the fight against organized crime and terrorism. Good, reliable intelligence can be difficult and expensive to obtain and in many cases the methods employed can be unpopular with liberals and human rights advocates. This is 2% popular with the vote right now. We have a sizable spy agency. We are going to spend two political capital to increase this to address our organized crime. We will apply the changes. We have zero political capital to spend and thus we are at the end of the second term of our first year as president of Italy. Let's hit that button. We will now be entering our third term of our first year as president of Italy. Let's see how we did. The GDP is up. Decry payday loan company. There is an urgent policy question that requires your immediate attention. Short term or payday loan companies are offering loans at extremely high interest rates and targeting the poorest in society due to their lack of access to mainstream lenders. Some consumer campaigners are demanding that the government speak out on this issue. Criticize the loans. Surely it's unacceptable that those in society in the most desperate need of credit are charged the highest rate. These companies are cynically exploiting the limited options of the poor and trapping them forever in a cycle of debt. At the very least, we should be openly critical of their business model. Make no comment. These lenders are running perfectly legal businesses that simply cater to a certain market. Of course, those who are very high risk customers are going to be charged higher interest rates. That's perfectly understandable. Plus, it's better to allow legal and regulated payday lenders than to allow criminals and loan sharks to take over. We're going to make no comment. The poor are unhappy at negative 5%. The capitalists are happy at plus 2%. We are seen as not compassionate at negative 8%. Situation imminent. Our data is showing that we have a potentially bad situation. Internet crime on our hands if we do not act soon. Budget report. The international credit rating agencies rate our government as a triple B. This is a bad sign and is pushing up the rate of interest we pay on our debt. We must address this. Polls report. The polls do not look good. Our last poll put us at 13% of the vote in an election. Economic forecast. Great news. There was a global economic boom and this is having a noticeable effect on our prosperity. Cabinet report. The loyalty of your ministers can best be described as loyal. Their effectiveness is generally considered to be passable. Security briefing. The Evangelical Alliance has been expressing dismay at our government policies. The Evangelical Alliance threat assessment is for the Environmental Alliance is a threat assessment of two. Our security effectiveness is adequate. We have 14 political capital to spend. Healthcare vouchers, a measure designed to encourage the growth of private healthcare while still enabling everyone to access it. Healthcare vouchers are issued by the state to everyone but can only be spent in the private sector on healthcare. This is a different approach to pure state healthcare because with healthcare vouchers, the hospitals are privately run and the medical staff are no longer state employees. We're trying to prevent a doctor's strike. This is 100% popular with the vote. This will increase our equality. This will lower socialism. This will help everyone's income. This will lower poverty. This will help the private healthcare sector and the capitalists will be happy. Let us implement this policy. Let's apply the changes. We have one political capital to spend. Police drones, unmanned aerial reconnaissance vehicles similar to remote control planes which can be employed by the police force. The eye in the sky is a useful way to keep track of mobs and rioters and allows for subtle yet effective surveillance. The police see it as a vital tool for modern crime fighting. There are concerns that this is a step towards the big brother style of surveillance society where everyone is tracked. This is 27% popular with the vote. We are going to spend our last political capital to increase this. We will apply the changes. We have zero political capital to spend and thus we are at the end of our third term of our first year as president of Italy. Let's hit that button. We will now be entering our fourth term of our first year as president of Italy. Let's see how we did.
did. The GDP is down. Health is down. Corporate exodus. There are concerns that a large number of companies are leaving the country. Our lack of business-friendly policies are forcing international companies to close down factory and offices and move their businesses to other countries. Naturally entertaining. Our country's celebrated naturalists have done it again. Their latest video documentary series is a global smash hit, raising the profile of the most urgent global ecological issues. That the rest of the world strongly identify our nation with these releases also raises our own profile. There has been a significant increase in the memberships of environmentalist groups. Environmentalist membership has gone up 15%. Environmentalists are increased at 10% and foreign relations has improved at plus 10%. Major donor abandons party. It looks like you have not been keeping an eye on the opinions of your major financial backers. One of our wealthy donors has just cut their support for our party. This may have an effect on our ability to campaign effectively unless we can find a replacement donor and keep them. We're seen as a strong leader at negative 20%. Budget report. International Credit Raging Agency rates our government as a triple B. This is a bad sign and is pushing up the rate of interest we pay on our debt. We must address this. Polls report. Polls do not look good. Our last poll put us at 14% of the vote in an election. Economic forecast. Good news. The global economy is doing well and this is having a positive effect on our GDP. Cabinet report. The loyalty of ministers can best be described as loyal. Their effectiveness is generally considered to be adequate. GDP, the gross domestic product of your country. This defines as total market value of all goods and services produced within a nation in a year. This is a good general purpose measure of the strength of your economy and the nation's overall wealth. One of the contributing factors is the global economic cycle, which tends to be cyclical and is beyond your control. But right now, we have an uncompetitive economy and that is greatly affecting our GDP. We have 13 political capital adult education subsidies adult education subsidies are a way to encourage people to retrain and continue their education after they've joined the workforce this includes evening classes and distance learning resources these schemes help to raise the overall education level of the workforce this is 50 percent popular with the vote this will increase our country's productivity we will invest two political capital to increase this to medium we will apply the changes we have 11 political capital to spend let's go back to look at what the religious want gambling gambling to some it is a sin that leads to poverty and disaster but others believe that some social gambling is harmless fun which can also be taxed nicely by the government as an additional form of revenue it also encourages tourism and creates jobs this is 46 percent popular with the vote right now we have a no stakes limit we are going to spend four political capital and lower this this will lower our organized crime this will make our religious institutions happy we will apply the changes we have seven political capital to spend let's see what else the religious want ban sunday shopping ban sunday shopping christian religion generally recognizes the sabbath as a day of rest and many religious people believe that there should be no shopping carried out on that day some trade unions also believe that an enforced day of rest prevents its members from being exploited this is 54 percent popular with the vote this will affect our gdp we will spend five political capital to increase this ban on Sunday shopping. We will apply the changes. We have two political capital to spend. Work safety law. Work safety law, often known as health and safety, is a series of measures to ensure employees are not at risk from injury on their day-to-day -day activities. Trade unionists often hail such laws as a valuable defense against unscrupulous employers who may put lives at risk. Many business leaders are concerned at the high levels of bureaucracy and restrictions restrictive practices that can result from such laws which they see as a burden on business. We do have a problem in our country with bureaucracy. We are going to spend one political capital to reduce our work safety law. We will apply the changes. We have one political capital to spend. Junk food tax. A punitive tax rate charged on unhealthy foods such as takeaway hamburgers, fizzy drinks, and high sugar or fat content pre-processed food. Levied with the aim of improving the health of the nation but can be unpopular this is 0% popular with the vote right now. Our junk food tax is 59%. We will use our last political capital to increase this to 67%. We will apply the changes. We have zero political capital to spend and thus we are at the end of our fourth term of our first year as president of Italy. And thus we are at the end of this episode. Thank you so much for stopping by our Cricket House. If you like what you saw, be sure to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to follow our future episodes. It really helps us out.
Have a great week. See you soon.